Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, uh, I'm going to be dis describing a uh, theory that I got off of a comic book in Stranger Things. Um, and it's kind of confusing, but it's honestly really cool. Uh, and I think it's I think this is like pretty obvious, like it's going to happen. Uh, so it's not even really a theory, it's just more proof that it's actually going to happen. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn up notifications, make sure to join my Discord, follow my Twitch and my TikTok and all my other socials. I stream every single day on Twitch pretty much. And uh, I'm active in the Discord all day. We talk Stranger Things theories and much, much more. That's actually how I figured out about this comic. Um, so yeah, basically this uh, theory stems from in Season 1, Episode 1, whenever... By the way, by the way, by the way. This background, you might be thinking, oh, did you just get this off Google? No, this is my... This is literally my desktop background. Isn't this awesome? Sorry, this is like the first time I've ever changed my desktop lock screen. So I don't have to pull up a picture anymore. Anyways... Back to the point. In season one, episode one, whenever Will and Dustin were riding home from Mike's house, uh, either Will or Dustin, I forget who it was, they said, hey, can I, or whoever, first one to get home, gets home, uh, get, gets my house, or first one to get home, uh, gets this X-Man Uncanny 134 comic book. Most of it has nothing to do with Stranger Things. It doesn't really align with Stranger Things, but there's this one scene in the comic book where um, Gene who's the girl, and Jason, who's the guy, Jean uses, Jean uses her telepathic abilities to send Jason to another dimension, okay? And it's literally the exact same scene as Eleven sending one to the Upside Down. He literally gets backed up to a wall, he says, don't do this, and then Jean says, you made me vulnerable, you manipulated me, all this stuff, and she sends him into the alternate dimension. And mostly yeah, the comic book doesn't really have anything to do with it, but in this scenario, in my mind, I'm like, okay, they put this comic book in there. They said everything matters on screen. So most likely they did make this reference where Eleven sent one into the Upside Down just like Gene sent Jason into, the upside, or into a different dimension in this comic book. That's probably a reference that they made. So they might make another reference down the line if this is in season one, episode one, you know what I'm saying? So I, I read the entire comic book. I believe it was like 18 pages and at the very last page it shows Jean turning into this woman named Phoenix and Phoenix is sitting there or standing there I should say flying she's flying with her hands out okay and so she sent one into the upside down and then by the end of the comic she's flying flying and saying I'm, I'm I was no I was not the woman you always thought I was or whatever and she was flying with uh, her hands out and everything, and it was just like the end of the comic right there, okay? So that was the end of the comic. End of the season, you know, season five is the end of Stranger Things, and in, in season four, Dr. Brenner told Eleven, um, you will literally, you won't, you, you can't just walk, you will have to fly to beat Vecna. And I think he meant, meant that literally. It, or, or Eleven's gonna take that literally, and she's gonna learn how to fly in season five. And this comic is just another hint that she's going to be f literally flying, like in the air, flying with her powers in season five. That's my theory that I got out of this comic. I, I, th I was hoping for more, uh, but honestly, I didn't have anything until I looked at it. I was like, wait a second. This same Phoenix girl who's flying with her hands out and her powers was literally the same girl who sent Jason into the Upside Down. Jean turned into Phoenix. So... It also could be referencing Eleven potentially turning bad. I don't think that because there's no motive for that. Uh, I personally think that the, the reference is going to be like Eleven just is going to be able to fly. And that's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. But that's my prediction. I'll, I'll, I'll try to put the comic up on the screen at the end of the... Uh, or when I, when, I, when I edit the video. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I'm not that smart. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, if I could save the images, I'm going to put them on there so you guys can read them. Uh, but either way, this is my theory. I thought it was pretty cool. And I think, I genuinely think Eleven will literally be able to fly in season five. I think that's going to be pretty, pretty sick. Like imagine, imagine the scenes, the shots, like everything. It's going to be so cool. Like to see, if, to see that if she actually like becomes, like she, if she actually is, a, is able to fly. Um, but yeah, that's what I got out of this comic book. I try to come up with the other stuff. Like there's, there might be a little, a few Eleven and Mike references, but I didn't want to be that far-fetched. This was pretty obvious just because they literally had the Eleven in one scene and then at the end of it, Eleven was flying. So that's my prediction. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, spend time with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.